Another side that stayed perfect through the first two rounds of the Premier League season was Arsenal, and in large part to one of their new signings. They made quite a few signings this summer, but it was Danny Ceballos who stood out. What was your impression of him? Um, listen, I think the overall Arsenal performance was, was excellent, uh, and a player like Danny Ceballos, when his teammates are getting him the ball, he's always going to show well, and he did that today. Uh, I thought he deserved a goal, uh, but for a couple of good saves from Pope, we might have had it. So yes, going forward, uh, I thought Arsenal with Ceballos uh, and Obama Yang in particular, um, they, they look like a top four side today. Yeah, and you mentioned Obama Yang. He was a goal scorer. So was Alexander Lacazette. We didn't see them clicking together at times, especially in the first half of last season. If they're both healthy and they both lead the line, what are a realistic goal number that we can expect from the two together at Arsenal? <sighs> Do you know, that's a tough one because on too many occasions last year, they didn't play together uh, or one of them would come off the bench late on. As far as numbers are concerned, Listen, if you get, if you get two, two strikers hitting double figures, then I think you're, you're going to do well. Uh, and I think if those two guys get double figures this year, uh, then that should push Arsenal into the top four. I think the other thing that was actually not surprising, but defensively, that's kind of where we all criticise them. We know they can score goals because of the players that we've talked about. But can they defend? Well, today, I thought they defended well. Burnley are a side who can who can really put you under pressure, particularly at set pieces, and they defended them well. You know, it's, it's not always about winning the first ball, but against Burnley, you have to win the second one. And they did that today. Yes, they lost a goal, but it was a, it was a fluke. It was a deflection that landed at the feet of Barnes, uh, and somehow he managed to get it. And so I thought defensively, that was the thing that stuck out, to be honest, for me. Defensively, with David Luiz, I thought they looked solid. Yeah, so defensively, adding David Luiz, they were in the hunt for a center back all summer long. They got one in a player who has been maligned at times mm. in the Premier League with Chelsea, but someone who's vastly experienced. So do you think that in the end, we might see the best versions of David Luiz under Unai Emery at Arsenal? Do you know what? It's, it's one game. I'm not ready to say that uh, because David Luiz, in my opinion, is, is better in the back three. Um, against Burnley you're at home, you're not going to be put under this sort of pressure as far as open attacking football is concerned that you will against a lot of other teams in the Premier League. Not, and I'm not talking about your cities or your Liverpools, I'm talking about your Leicesters, your Wolves, teams like that. If they stick with the back four, then that's when David Luiz has to answer the question of can he play in a back four. I don't think he can, not consistently well, but if they go to a three, I think he can consistently well. Stevie, I'm going to put you on the spot. Are Arsenal a top four contender this season? Yes. Okay. Fair enough. You heard it from the man Stevie Nichol. Arsenal will be going to the Champions League or stay in the Champions League when Never it comes time that. next Never season. No. They remain perfect on the year as well in the first two rounds of the Premier League.